All right, judging by the inside of this bus, it looks like it could be a comfortable ride for a tour group or maybe a rock star, but it actually <laughs> serves as a health resource for veterans. And hepatitis C is actually one of the most significant health concerns facing veterans right now. And that bus is making stops nationwide to get results. And as you saw, we got a look inside that bus, but now we want to learn a little bit more about the mission. Joining us now, Dave Boffman, the American Legion spokesperson for Take On Hep C. Welcome, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, us. how are you guys doing this morning? We Good. are doing well. Good. And so tell us about this initiative. Veterans are much more likely than just the general population to That's correct. Deal with um, this. Just because of our combat related experiences mm -hmm. with blood, blood pathogens that can be occurred during combat mm -hmm. um, will be is one major way that you can contract hepatitis C. And there's a certain year, right, for, for certain vets? Yeah, it's that... basically the baby booter generation, um, and a lot of the Vietnam guys will be notorious for getting that just because of that war era and the age bracket. And you mentioned a lot of, this can lay dormant for 40 years, so it's kind of scary that you can go this long and not realize that you're dealing with this. That's correct. I mean, we've, we started our our big take on Hep C campaign Sturgis, where we had a bunch of people take the test. A few came back positive, they didn't know, um, but we were even veterans, so we were able to get in touch with the service officer because he didn't know, but he fit that war era generation criteria. So thankfully, we were able to get him the, uh, the direction you need to get the cure. This is part of an effort to just create more awareness because a lot of people call Hep C the forgotten virus just because it is, uh, you know, something that can lay dormant for so long and it actually is, it's killing more people than HIV every year. But you can come and get this test on the bus. Anyone mm -hmm. can come out and it's a quick thing, not too painful. No, it's not painful at all. I was actually the first one to get done in Sturgis where we started. Um, and we're located at 307 North Beach Street in uh, Daytona Beach, Florida. It's adjacent to the Indian dealership that's mm -hmm. there. Um, and like you said, the test is not painful. Um, it's, it's not a, a big blood no, draw. No, it's just a little prick of the finger like you take your blood sugar. Okay. And within 20 minutes, you'll, you'll have your results if you've tested positive or negative. And uh, we have healthcare providers there that are doing all of that for us. And uh, they will lead you in the direction that you need to to get the cure. Because it's treatable. And that's, Absolutely. that's the good Absolutely. news it's about treatable. it. We were just looking at some video of the bus. Why did you feel that a bus tour is the way to go with this? I mean, needless to say, it's an eye catcher. I mean, yeah, you, you see it going down the road. Um, our first stop in Sturgis, people were coming up and checking the bus out and uh, going in. And it's really laid back. It's really comforting. Um, and people like to see it, that's for sure. What are you hearing from people as they come aboard the bus and they get this testing and it's so quick and so easy? What is the reaction you're getting from veterans? Um, veterans and the community, mm -hmm. actually. We've had um, people like in Sturgis and other places that came up from the community that were like, thank, thank you for doing this. I was cured for hepatitis C. I'm glad you guys are doing this. I know this mm -hmm. is a big problem. And that's, it's always good to hear those stories when yeah. people come up that were cured for hepatitis C. And you're also, you know, people that you can also talk to at the bus as well, because you're saying it's, it's focused on veterans, but mm -hmm. anyone can come and get tested. That's correct. The healthcare provider, uh, I, I can't remember who we're using off the top of my head, they, are, they do the test, but then they'll also get you the information you need to give your primary care physician. And if you're a veteran, we'll get you in touch with a service officer so we can get you into the VA system. Because for the Legion, one in 20 veterans enrolled in the, in the VA healthcare system is, has tested positive for hepatitis C. And what days are you in Daytona Beach? You're there a couple days, right? Yeah, actually we're there for four. Okay. Um, we start testing on Thursday from 11 to 7. That will go on until Saturday from 11 to 7. And then Sunday's a short day. It's 11 to 3. And then you're rolling out, right? Yes, we will be rolling out. We have uh, three more stops after that. We'll go to the Galveston, Texas for the Lone Star Rally and then to San Diego for Veterans Day. And then we'll be back here in Florida in Miami um, doing testing down there. Awesome. And it's free? Absolutely free. All the testing. Just done. come in, enjoy the AC because I, yeah. after seeing these temperatures, <laughs> uh, it may be good to walk in and get the AC. Exactly. Well, well, that's right. Oh, thanks. It's 50 degrees in Indianapolis where yeah. I'm from. So. It's in our minds, the cooler weather. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks we appreciate it. Good luck with your, your bus tour. And thank, thank you. you for your service. Oh, yes. thank you.